and located the side striped jackal family, which you saw with Tristan and had that amazing interaction between the Impala, which is, well, something very, very special because normally young Impala fall on the menu, of course, of, of jackals. Uh, should we go up to those ones? What do you think, Liam? Those ones, this one is sitting down in the grass, not doing too much, and the others have sort of dashed off in the distance. Oh no, this one is now running. We follow it. I'll try and drive slowly. Look at that beautiful gate. Now jackals are really funny. I don't know how often I've actually seen a jackal walking. They always seem to be on the move, whether they're trotting or d racing off. That's normally how you see jackals, as they're at a full sprint. There we go. That super sensitive nose, even as it darts away, can't help itself but smelt something. I'm just going to get up a little bit further so we can get in line with the other jackals. So we'll just drive very slowly like this. Isn't that cool though? That looks like it's maybe one of the adults. It doesn't look particularly small. Oh, I wonder if those aren't the two juveniles on the other side because they seem to be running away. But how beautiful is this? Now, my favorite jackal, I'm a bit biased. I prefer the black back jackal. I just, I think the uh, side striped jackals are beautiful too. They almost look like foxes again. I like to use the the analogy that animals have been on the wash when they've got faded colors and that's exactly what a side striped jackal looks like you can actually n not very clearly see the stripe on this one but it also looks like it doesn't hasn't had a good groom yes there we go you can see the the stripe quite nicely on this side so i think what's happened is this dog has not this dog <laughs> this is not a dog i'm missing home obviously now that i'm talking about dogs uh, i think this one hasn't had a good groom and its coat is a bit messy but running back in the opposite direction I think it's going straight back to where it stuck its nose in the ground. Perhaps it can smell or sense that there's a mole or something or a rodent of some sort moving around there. Maybe a mongoose. Where are you going? Very busy. Now apparently there are four side striped jackals here. Rebecca, I'm not get, we're not getting the greatest communication with you for some reason. It's very jumpy and I don't know. I think you asked me a question, but I'm a little bit uncertain. Let me go forward here. Sorry, VM. Right. I'm just going to quickly change radio stations. Okay, Rebecca, we are on. I am on channel 7. I think VM will go on to channel 7 in a moment. But there's lots of action here. There, ah, oh, that's wonderful. Now, Liz, you're wondering, what will Jackal gain by hanging around Impala? Well, Liz, you know, down in the Eastern Cape, it's a huge problem, and I've spoken about this a couple of times, but Jackals are a huge pest, not in my eyes, and I know not in your eyes either, but to the farmers of South Africa, and they're often taking... Uh, down young animals so impala being one of them so i was really surprised to see that interaction i think what had happened there is perhaps it was because it was a big ram he felt as though he doesn't fall on uh, the prey sort of item list of things that jackals like to eat like to eat the young impala this light's actually not even helping but um for instance he's so big he was obviously quite curious and i've seen it before uh, for instance, where uh, impala rams actually move closer towards lions as they're walking um, past them, not necessarily stalking them. So, so that's really, I think, what happened there, that, that impala was just investigating and decided to take a little bit of a gamble and actually come quite close, which worked out in his favor. I wonder if he's ever been so close to a jackal before, if he went off and he was bragging to his mates, um, and, look, you know, look what I did, look what I did. Um, Normally, I've actually also seen Blessbok, which is another antelope, chasing jackal around, so that sometimes happens. The impala will do the same thing. I've seen also seen an impala ewe with her youngster, um, and she was chasing off a jackal that, were her, that was harassing her. And listen, even though a female impala doesn't have any horns, I can tell you right now, a headbutt from her wouldn't be too pleasant. But yeah, now they're going to sleep. And it's a pity, because normally they're quite active at this time. Both of them have ducked their heads into the ground. This is the best time to go out hunting. It's just before everything is going to start to get a little bit active. Right, 
there's some it's a bit dark see this period of the morning especially with all the clouds that we've got we haven't even seen the sunrise just yet so it's a very awkward light so i reckon in the next 10 to 15 minutes it's going to get a little bit better uh so oh also oh my goodness i'm getting distracted i've forgotten to tell you some very important information so it seems as though the lions were on the airstrip last night. They were left here. So I'm going to do some scanning up and down. But Byron has managed well to find the first big mammal this morning.